Hello guys, it's Evan from Evster Casting, and um, today I'm doing another mod tutorial for a mod called Billcraft, which is for 1.4.5, the new version of Minecraft that's been out for a little while. So let's get cracking. So what you want to do first is go to the link in the description. This is Billcraft installer for Minecraft 1.4.5. And what you want to do is scroll on here and come to download the exe file. So that's now downloading. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to um, come to let's go away. Come to this page. This is the too many items. I just recommend getting this. It's not you don't have to. It's just the creative can be a little bit annoying sometimes. So go here and download the 1.4.5 one. Make sure it's not on any other version. Obviously that won't work. And then you just let it install like that and you'll have both of them in your downloads folder or wherever you keep your downloads so what you want to do is you want to drag your Billcraft mod installer there and you then want to open up a new folder on your make a new folder on your desktop and call it MCN oh sorry no what am I doing uh, no what you don't even need to do this sorry <laughs> I completely lost track um, I was on was doing another mod tutorial a minute ago. So drag your two me items onto your desktop and you'll have your two folders there. Um open up your Billcraft install and run it. Then you just wanna go and hit the install mod, which is here. Press install mod when it's ready of course and it's now installing now you can back up your minecraft if you want to that's up to you i'm not gonna bother um and billcraft is a mod that comes in a pack you may know of which is the technic pack this has loads of mods like billcraft industrial craft red power mod railcraft and stuff and this is the billcraft separate so if you want to get this with mod which with other mods of course go onto the technic pack um, as they do a really good job of mixing the mods together to make the most amazing game it just adds so much to minecraft it's unbelievable so that's that and it's just installing um, so we're just gonna have to wait a little while I don't know why it's taking this long but uh, there we go it was a little bit slow but that sped up quite quickly and we are nearly done and then we can continue with the next part of the mod tour, which is the too many items bit, so it's installed. Um, make sure you do this in the right order, as otherwise... Oh, what's that? Okay, now, you'll get a little error message saying it hasn't worked. Now, this always happens. Um, it's just an error. Um, so, go to percent update and percent. And open up your Minecraft and bin. As I was saying, make sure you do this in the same order, otherwise it won't work, because you're built your installer would delete the too many items for example that's probably what will happen so um left click not double tap but just left click on it and then right click on it or on the right just right click on it um whatever and then open up with your unarchive or whatever you're using now a meter inf normally means a bad thing but as it's an installer the installer um doesn't need to delete a meter inf in this case some mods that is the case but this is supposed to be there, so do not worry. Um, open up your too many items or raw or whatever you've got it in, and just drag them to each side and get your folder. Drag it all into t from too many items into your Minecraft like that. Simple, and then you'll close it out, and you will have your. Buildcraft for 1.4.5 installed. Now this will work on other versions as well um, when the new release comes out of course. But this is just 1.4.5 at the moment so we're getting a thing which is setting up it, the mod installer so we know it's worked. Now you get a little black screen you get a mojang and now we know it's worked which is neat. And um, I'm just going to show you it's worked but um, this mod is really extensive and I can't really cover it so I'm not going to cover it because it's just too much to do in a v tutorial uh, this would be something you'd want to do in an actual um, what's it called, I don't know, this is what you want to do in the mod spotlight for example this is more of a mod spotlight thing so I just randomly spawned in a hole and I'm lagging 
which is amazing. Um, I'm just gonna. I've got too many items. Uh, where's the f creative mode on, just so I can fly? And Billcraft adds, um, as you can see, you've got things down here. You've got combustion engine, your um, redstone engine, your Sterling engine, which used to be steam engine, I believe. Um, I don't know what that is. It's probably a replacement for steam engine, or I don't know to be honest. It's just changed from the last update. You've got your quarries, you've got your blueprints, you've got your refineries, you've got all your pipes and stuff, you've got all your chips, blueprints, etc. Um, and yeah, this this is what the mod adds to the game. And um, that's basically it for me, guys. So I've hope you found this um, tutorial useful and it's worked for you. If it's worked, please like because I know it's worked. And if it hasn't worked, please post something in the comments saying what the problem was. Um, is um, there's lots of problems with installers not working. I know that. And what it would be nice instead of just saying it hasn't worked, it would be nice if you said this is what it said, etc this has happened, I've got a black screen um, and also then post what bits your computer is because I'm trying to figure out if it's a common problem with 64 and 32 bits the difference and stuff um, I'm not saying it is, I don't know that's just a guess, so that's it for me